I want to thank uh, the Cowboy Indian Alliance for being in Washington. I'm sorry I can't be with you. It is so important that your presence there in D.C. It is bringing national attention. It is bringing attention of Congress to look at the issue of the, of the Keystone XL in a different way and also to impress upon this administration how important it is to reject the XL pipeline. Climate change is upon us and XL only makes the situation worse for America and for the world. It is not about oil for America, it is about oil for export. It is a dirty process that is going to contribute to climate change and to the health and well-being of the American people. I am particularly thankful to uh, Indian country, the Lakota Nation, and all the allies that are there today. The first Americans are telling the rest of this nation the XL pipeline is, an, is something that is going to hurt the land we love, the legacy we have, and the history of what we're about. Your presence there is going to change the conversation. It is about Congress pr protecting the sovereignty granted to Indian country and nations. It is about Congress protecting and enforcing the treaty obligations that we have with Native peoples. And it is about Congress protecting the health and welfare of all Americans to meet those obligations and for the administration to meet those obligations, the XL pipeline has to be rejected. Thank you. You have brought strength, you have brought attention, and you have brought a new force into the debate and into the struggle. We are all so appreciative of it, and we want to thank the Cowboy Indian Alliance because it is your strength and your momentum that is going to help us, all of us, stop this pipeline. Thank you so much.